Welcome back to the Forensics Unplugged channel. I might be having a really bad hair day today. Today, you're saying? Anyway, look at that. Sun is shining, guys. Awesome. Spring is coming. Now, my car has got a gutful. The Australian word, gutful. That means it's got a lot of dirt in it from over winter. Um, so I've just vacuumed in there and I'm going to wipe down all those pedals properly. You can see the mud on them. Uh, going to wipe it all down and get it all sorted. Now, how do you go about detailing an interior? Um, now, that, uh, my like Instagram feed and Facebook feed comes up with all these kind of TikTok and stuff, you know, and reels of bits of detailing being done. And if this was coming up as a reel on um, TikTok or whatever, this, say we're cleaning this bit of uh, trim in the car, what it would be would be covered and plastered in foam. And then it will probably be something like this, going over it and working the foam. And then it will be something like drying it with a microfiber towel and then showing you a lovely finished result. Um, so really, but how should you really clean 99% of the interior of a car? Or how I do it anyway. Obviously, it depends how dirty it is. Um, so here I have a, a wet microfiber towel that's soaked out in water. Here I have a dry microfiber towel. And here I have APC. Now, I'm not going to be foaming this around. All I will do is hold this cloth up. Can we get a shot of this? And literally, for the interior of the car, I hope you can see this. It's just going to be like that. Um, and that's it. Just a little tiny light bit of APC on the surface. Because APC really needs to be rinsed up, picked up via a rinse. So you can't rinse the inside of your car. And you're not, you're not breaking down heavy amounts of dirt. Just water and a tiny bit of APC generally works. So if I'm cleaning out my car, the first thing I'll do is get my finger in there. Because you can see you always get that build that line up of dirt down the down the gap you can see as i go over it now we hopefully get that dirt out oh i can't my finger came out i just want to tuck it in there that's it and work it along that line that's it i can feel it's right down that gap and then we've got that gap in there clean which is good just a little bit there i want to get this um, just needs a wipe over. Even if it's got mud in it, I mean, if it's really muddy, you might want to give it a little brush. And then that just needs a wipe over. I've got something there, which doesn't want to come off. It's kind of like a little bit of staining of something, maybe some polish. Shall I have a play around with that? And then, um, you know, and then once you've wiped it, you take your dry microfiber towel and you just dry off the water film. Um, now, if I put that a video of me doing that on that seal, about 10 people will watch it. Um, if I cover it in foam, even coloured foam would be better, uh, and put it on there, then two million people will watch it. So a lot of detailing is just bullshit, um, really is. And especially on the inside of cars, uh, I don't want to be foaming, because all the foam that you put in there, you've got to get it out. Be getting the pressure washer in there and blasting it all out. <laughs> so, um, again, as I move around the car now, you know, the outside's been washed, I want to do the inside. My damp towel, I can just use for to pick up all the dust on areas like this. Again, if I'm covering it with APC, it's going to leave a white film unless I really get it off. You, you, you want, it's like a balance, isn't it? Because you want to be able to, sometimes you get lots of dirt and grime on here and just water isn't going to break it down. So you need to probably have your APC to hand as well and some a few more brushes to hand. But um, generally, just a damp towel is what I use. Even when I go in on the Gulf, I never, it's very rarely, um, 
am I filling the interior up with foam? I don't understand that. I like covering the, the dashboards in foam. Like, you know, all around there, there, covering it with foam. No, nope. if you're doing that, you are just going to be leaving material in the car. Um, and you don't need to. So, wet towel, dry towel. Wet just gets all, all of the stuff off there. Let's get a bit of dust under those things. Always give the buttons a little rub because you can get a bit of skin on them, can't you? <laughs> so you want to get that off. All the things you grab hold of, you just want to give them a little wipe over just to get that grease off them. Um, all of this. See, I don't even know what this is, but this is some sort of fiber board. And if I'm putting APC on there, I'm almost certain it's going to soak into it. So just, again, damp cloth. Wipe over it, underneath it, round it leather again just a little i don't really want to really massively wet the leather out so just a little wipe over the leather and then quickly dry it and that'll take any grease off the surface where your arm's been sitting on it and uh, again if this was a detailing video it's starting to sound like a stuck record this door would be completely foamed be foamed up and look, it would just be foamed and it'd be pointless. Uh, again, with my leather, I'm not doing a deep clean on it. In fact, I'm just thinking oh, I should really top up my leather shield there and there. So it doesn't really need a deep clean though. So I'll probably just wipe over with the water, a tiny bit of APC, dry that off and reapply the colour lock shield over here and here because they're the bits I need to preserve and just wipe this seat. Get me butt grease off there. <laughs> butt grease, it's a new word. All these buttons, they can tend to get a bit greasy when we get around them. Right up there, on that side. We'll get in that back, we'll do that back. But no one, no one really goes in the back. I've given it a vacuum. But the back will probably need a wipe over it. It's probably at that stage where it's getting a bit dusty. Always like to dry that leather off. Don't want to soak out leather. It's the one thing, bit of advice. Ram told me, you know, don't wet leather um, if you can avoid it because wetting it, you know, it soaks through eventually and the actual, all the natural kind of oils in it dry it out. So the more you wet it, the drier it gets, ironically, over time. So try not soak your leather. Uh, so that's just giving you a qu quick idea. I'll do a video on cleaning Alcantara, um, especially the steering wheel. Um, yeah, so really, <laughs> I'm not an expert on Alcantara. I've got an Alcantara cleaner. Um, now, what I would do with this lever is I'd avoid with this Alcantara, sorry, is I'd avoid soaking it out because you don't want this all this material to be soaked with water. Um, you just want to clean the dirt off the surface. If you use a microfiber like that, you're going to be pulling fibers. So I would use a microfiber like a it's called a suede microfiber that like you could clean your glasses with. So I would put a little bit of the textile cleaner on work it with a very soft brush, not put too much in, and then just wipe it off immediately with one of those um, suede microfibers very gently. A uh, white one would be ideal because you'll probably see a little bit of dirt coming back with it. And that's all I'd do with that Alcantara steering wheel. But I'll speak to Ram because he'll know the best way to do that. Um, I've got lots of Alcantara in here, so it could be a really good video, actually. In fact, we've already done a video on Alcantara cleaning, haven't we? So you can watch that. But for the steering wheel, it's a little bit awkward because it's kind of like a round surface with a, with a girth. <laughs> um, so that's just a quick video, guys, on interior cleaning. There's definitely a lot of BS out there for me. Um, maybe on a really old car that's like 20 years old and it's been hammered then you can start throwing the foam around and like uh, mashing up the foam inside cars but if you ever see that being done on a car like this or if any anyone did that to my car well you know it wouldn't end well <laughs> for me probably great job um 
no, that, you shouldn't be doing that on this sort of car. So um, be very careful with these screens as well. This one's okay. Some of them you can damage the older ones. If they're, you know, if they've got that little layer of film on them, you can strip that off. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be spending about an hour in here, maybe half an hour. Let's not go over the top and getting it really nice and, and clean for the summer. Um, I love breaking detailing down into little jobs, you know. It's, it's easy to do when you've got plenty of time. There's nothing clever here. You know, we're not doing anything clever. Um, you know, if you have to do this car in a day, then you can't mess around. You know, you can't mess around. and You can't spend as long as I'm spending. You'd have this interior done in like 15 minutes, just vacuum it out, wipe it over, bang, done. But I'm gonna spend half an hour to an hour just wiping stuff over so I can get everything, everything I touch needs a really good wipe down. So that gear stick, that selector, all the volume buttons on here where they build up your dead skin over the years. All the buttons, indicators, definitely the pedals. Um, yeah, and just take your time. And then when you get out of the driver's seat, you find everything else tends to be really clean. It's not often I let the family go in here. The little one was in the back the other day, though. I have to go and check that out, make sure nothing's broken. Be bite marks in all the <laughs> in all the seats and everything. Okay, um, take care, guys. Just an informal one. See you soon.